What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Ericsson Wheel Chalk Strapping Kit that I've been using for, uh, I think, a couple months now, and I've taken a lot of trips with it, so I'll let you know what I think, and uh, maybe even show you how to install it. So stay tuned. A wheel chalk and strap kit basically gives you an overview of what it does is uh, you just attach these to, to your trailer and then the straps connect to there and it's like an alternative way of strapping and uh, well I've watched some videos on this and they actually look pretty badass so I wanted to add this to my trailer over here because uh, the last time I went riding I have two tr two straps normally that go one in the front, one in the back. And uh, I had one actually pop loose and I had to stop on the side of the highway and fix it, no big deal. But I'm hoping that these are the new solution. Now the good thing about these is it's just holding the tire so there's no suspension or anything involved. So normally when I strap it down, there's uh, the suspensions involved. So if it like compresses at all from like bumps or anything like that, it can actually make the strap, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but it would become loose and then even pop from the pockets and then, uh, yeah, it comes up, it comes loose. Now with these, you're strapping the two front and the two back wheels and uh, nothing's gonna happen because they're just strapping down the wheels. There's no suspension travel or anything. All, you, all you're doing is tightening the tire and uh, should be good to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I haven't even opened them yet. But uh, I ordered these on Amazon. I'll put a link down below in the description where you could pick them up. But uh, I haven't even checked them out yet. So let's open these puppies up. These freaking shipped in one day. So that was nice. And there you go. Basically, it's just a, a wheel chalk with, uh, I forget what you call it, like a track system. just like that and then your tire would go in between there and then you have these ratchet straps that go attach into the track system and these just get bolted down to your trailer feels pretty stout I think this is about maybe 16 to 14 gauge steel they feel well made they're powder coated you can tell and the straps actually look pretty nice We'll see, because I mean, a strap is a strap, but really when you have like cheap straps, the uh, this whole mechanism is like, usually you can tell when it's like cheaply made and just like a pain in the ass, or if they actually work well. Now looking at these, they look pretty good, but I mean, we won't know until I actually use them. A few moments later. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to load this thing up on the trailer exactly where we want it so we know where to put the wheel chocks for when we load it every single time. So after a couple tries I have the uh, side by side exactly where I want it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, chocks I'm going to go to each wheel and I'm going to put this down right where I want it and then put one there and put one over here right where the tires are gonna meet so it looks kind of like that and then I'm gonna just take a sharpie and I'm gonna mark my holes where they go so I'm gonna do that to all four wheels and then I can actually mount these to the trailer with the through bolt you just want to pre-drill this all the way through and then use um, uh, bolt with locking um, nuts and all that good stuff and washers and all that good stuff of course because uh, you don't want to use like decking screws I don't trust that you want it through bolted just uh, so you know that it's not gonna rip out of there so now the only downside that I foresee for this is if you uh, swap out your tires to maybe paddles then all this would be different because it wouldn't be in the same spot if they're 
larger tires or whatever and also this track system only works for up to 30 inch tires I have 29 inch tires so for now it's good and also if you plan on driving with uh, different machines uh, it wouldn't work obviously this is only specific if you're using the same machine over and over and not changing out the tires and everything one eternity later they're all installed now I'm just gonna throw the uh, side by side on here and then show you how they strap down. So here we go, I got it loaded up on the trailer. I uh, got the first, just the fronts, strapped down just to show you what it looks like. Then we'll go ahead and uh, move to the back and I'll show you exactly how to do it here on the back. Now the only thing is it does make it a little more difficult to uh, load it on the trailer because you gotta get it kind of perfect right in between the uh, blocks. But uh, straps in pretty easily. Okay, so here's the strap. This is the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the connector, but basically you just take this, slide it back, slide it into the track, and then let go, and then it is uh, in the track. So I'll go ahead and take this one, bend the little, little thingy, or pull the little thingy back, slide it in here, and there you go. Then you just put it like basically in the middle of the tire all the way down like this and then latch the other one in just like that and then you just pull it tight and then start ratcheting it's hard to do one-handed wrench it down nice and tight and just like that easy enough you can do one-handed I don't really need to show you the other tire but I'll show you some uh, footage of it actually driving around with it all strapped down I'm making money so I'm building up my future self I pay tuition cuz I'm living with a double vision I go to school and make the music everybody listen I don't need no cloud now what I've been thinking about I keep it G cuz I never took the easy route the way we live in got you thinking about the wrong things getting likes on your page don't result in real fans that so by now you're probably wondering are these things good are they bad whatever so you want to hear what I have to say well here's a couple pros and cons so here are a couple pros. The pros are they are $38. That's only for the front and then $38 for the back. So $76 total for the full set if you're planning to strap down all four wheels, which I would imagine you probably would want to do that. And then another pro would uh, be that it's fast and it's pretty easy to load it up by yourself. So you don't have, it doesn't take anybody else you just uh, strap all four wheels and tires and you're good and you're on your way. Now there's also a con with that that's involved but I'll get to that in, in a second. Now the third pro is that these actually they're they're really well made and the uh, ratcheting uh, mechanism on the straps are actually good and they're they're not tight or anything. Uh, you probably want to oil them up a little bit you know every few months or whatever but I have no issues of them sticking or getting stuck or anything like that, like cheap straps usually do, in my experience, anyways. But then also, another pro is that you have just four little straps that you just, you know, toss, you know, once you're, once you're unloaded and everything, you just toss those in your toolbox or whatever, and they don't take up a lot of space compared to the big, bulky um, other straps like that I would use, and I would assume that most people use, so, those are some pros right there. All right, so now a couple cons. Now, these aren't even that bad, but you know, I have to have some negatives about them. But first of all, when you open the box, you find out, well, there's no hardware. So you have to go to the hardware store, spend another $10 to get the nuts and bolts and uh, washers and everything, or however you plan to uh, secure it to your trailer. So that is an added expense and it's kind of a con, sort of, kind of, I guess. And then next, um, it's kind of hard to load up on the trailer. So for a lot of guys, if you have razors and stuff and they're all automatics, it's easy. You just All you do is you just gas and brake, right? Well, for us people with clutches and everything, you have to slip the hell out of the clutch. And for the, you know, the YXZ guys, if you don't have like rear gear, uh, rear gear and all that stuff, it's kind of hard to get all four wheels up 
over those chalks and also aligned perfect. So that is kind of a major con, which kind of turns me off about it, but I'm still, I still like it. Now another con is that they don't work with other machines. So if you have another machine that's identical to the one that you set it up for, perfect, great. But the moment you change tire sizes or width with wheel spacers or wheels, and then you're adding paddles and stuff like that, they're pretty much worthless, I think, because it changes everything and it's not going to strap the same. So you'd have to redo it or strap it differently if you plan on doing dunes and trail riding in the woods. So that's kind of a major thing to think about, like when you're going to do it. But for now, for me, I'm using the same wheels and tires and everything, and it doesn't really matter. So maybe eventually it might affect me, but these uh, Max's Bighorns that I have on here, the factory stock 2019 tires, actually work freaking awesome in the sand and in the dirt, so not a problem for me. So this isn't really a con. This is just something that I'd probably add to you. Uh, for me to actually load it on the trailer, I had to load it in four-wheel drive just because uh, I have some burnout marks because two-wheel drive, I couldn't get up and over both humps front and back without having issues and not tearing up my trailer or the uh, wheel chocks, but it definitely left some marks. Now, one last problem that I see hasn't happened to me yet, but it's definitely going to be an issue at some point, maybe possibly for you or me or I don't know. But if you happen to get a flat tire or you break some sort of suspension or anything like that, what do you do about that? I don't know. Because then you can't strap over the tire, right? So that could be a major downfall. Oh, yeah. So make sure you have extra straps like your normal straps that you'd use just in case that happens. So then you can strap it the old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned, right? Whatever. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this review. And uh, make sure you uh, check them down here, down in the uh, description. I'll put a link to that. Check them out. Purchase them. I highly recommend them. This is not even a paid sponsorship. This is just something that I stumbled upon, found out that I like them, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So uh, hopefully you like the content. Hopefully you like the review. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps me out. And uh, thanks for joining me. Peace out.